What is the easiest way to style an effortless headpiece? How does it make a minimalist wardrobe more exciting? And why do I almost always wear something on my head? If you want to know this, I invite you to watch the video. Hey, my friends, if you're new here, I'm Anna Anastasia, and this channel is about everything that is mindful, minimalist, and creative. I have a minimalist wardrobe and not to get bored with it and not to feel restricted by it, I wear a lot of accessories such as scarves that can be worn both around the neck and on the head uh, during summer months, warmer months. I was born and spent most part of my life in Western Siberia where climate is pretty harsh and also given the overall high sensitivity, I always had to cover my head and my neck. Since I was a kid, my mom would make me whimsical hats out of old coats, but then when I learned how to crochet and knit, I would create all kinds of hats and wear them all year round. But when six years ago Brian and I went to the Republic of Georgia to live, I wasn't ready for the heat and I had to figure out how to cover my head but at the same time how to protect it from the heat without being overheated. And back then I had only <laughs> this scarf that I would wear around my neck, but I had to figure out how to wear it on the head and it worked. I have two proven techniques how to wear this scarf just as a headband and also as a sun protection headpiece. This scarf is one of my favorites, most favorite because of its softness and the color palette that fits everything and I think looks really good with my hair and facial features. I also have this scarf that in summer I wear around my head as a headband. It's pretty challenging to style, not to create a bulkiness effect, <laughs> but um, I think it would be great if it was a bit longer or maybe I'm thinking of making it thinner and thus it could become much easier to style. I made this scarf myself, I just got a piece of fabric, it was white, then I dyed it myself, didn't use any stitch work, it just left rough edges and I think they look pretty cool for scarves and headscarves. Not long time ago here in Albania I bought two bandanas, I bought them separately, they're just regular size bandanas. And of course I wear them separately on their own, but then I decided to try and tie them together to create a more pronounced headband <laughs> effect and it really worked. And I love it a lot. This two-in-one style looks pretty fun and I'm very happy to have them. Then I have this bandana in my wardrobe. It was a gift from Brian. It's a branded bandana the, from Rishi Tea brand that Brian used to work with. It's more on a thicker side. Again, it's 100% cotton. I cannot wear any artificial fibers on my head because it's, it's very sensitive and gets irritated really quickly. So I use only cotton and linen. So this bandana is on the thicker side and I wear it on its own. Thank you. 
I really love the rich green color, like almost forest green. I think it's not that common for bandanas, so that's why I love it and I keep it for many years already. Headscarves and headbands have been used all around the globe following religious beliefs and now most often just personal preferences. Interestingly, the first, the earliest recorded evidence of the act of covering women's hair uh, comes from a 13th century BC Assyrian text. Back then, only aristocratic and noble women were allowed to wear headscarves. And also, there is one more fun fact that I found, that in the early 20th century, there was a very curious medical aid device that was called headache band. It was supposed to be wrapped tightly around the head and thus relieving headache. I don't know. Maybe it worked back then. I won't go deep into historical and cultural aspects of wearing headscarves, headbands and turbans, but I will leave links to a couple of very curious articles in the description section. Headpieces, be them scarves, bands or hats, are first of all about protection for me. They keep me grounded and somewhat hugged. And also, it's all about hair. <laughs> My hair is almost 100% gray and I use henna and indigo to dye it. And these natural dyes, they make hair even thicker, so it becomes pretty unmanageable for me. Right now, I'm trying to grow it out. I don't know whether I will manage to do it or not. We'll see. Wearing headpieces definitely adds confidence and over the years it has become part of my personal style and I really, really love wearing something on my head. And what about you? Do you love covering your head and your hair and why? Or maybe after watching this you are interested to try? Let's discuss in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video till the end, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. And for now, as always, be safe and keep your heart open. And I hope to see you soon. Пока -пока.